committing to zero and mobilising parliaments to act on climate change. However, this assembly is taking place during three simultaneous crises. Yes, there is a climate emergency. There is also a pandemic. But there is also an illegal and brutal invasion by one UN member state of another UN member state. Parliamentarians, let us commit ourselves at this assembly to ending these three crises. First of all, there can be no more shocking environmental damage than that created by bombs that created by tanks invading a neighbouring country. The world is rightly horrified by the humanitarian crisis, the refugees, the civilians trapped in Ukrainian cities, the maternity clinics bombed. But we should not overlook the harm done to the environment as well, the habitats destroyed, the beaches defiled, the fields of crops ruined that feed the world, the risk of food insecurity. We cannot look away from the sheer environmental crime of thermobaric weapons, reports of white phosphorus and untargeted air raids. We know how to end this crisis. Russia has withdrawn its army today and stop bombing and then negotiate. And I urge my fellow parliamentarians today to ask them to do that in our emergency motion. The pandemic emergency has also horrified every country. According to a recent study, 18 million people have died from COVID-19. A population the size or larger than many countries. We know how to end this crisis too. Thanks to the work of brilliant scientists around the world, there's a range of effective vaccines and the will to donate them. As we agreed unanimously at our last assembly, we must make every effort to help distribute these vaccines equitably and to the remotest parts of our world. So parliamentarians, I give you good news. These two terrible crises can end soon. Tomorrow, Putin could choose to end his illegal invasion. And this year, if we focus resources on a comprehensive vaccine rollout, with the right doses, getting to the right places at the right time, we can do what we've seen in my country and move from pandemic to endemic status for this disease. The climate emergency can be solved too, but only if we as parliamentarians take action. The UK was honoured to host COP26 with Italy this year, and we published a strong outcome document from parliamentarians which was agreed unanimously by all of those who joined us in Glasgow. And already the UK Parliament has put into law the need to get to net zero by 2050. We've installed offshore wind generating capacity, which in our very windy islands means that we often get half of our electricity from wind. We've installed solar, which even in our cloudy islands means we can often generate a lot of domestic power during the day. We've installed onshore wind, hydropower, and we have great capacity to do more. We have nuclear, we're building new nuclear, and we have developed small, modular nuclear reactors. Only 3% of our energy comes from Russia, and with the price now for fossil fuels, we have the added attraction that renewables are often now cheaper than fossil fuels. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has given new impetus to us and to our allies to wean ourselves off Russian oil and gas and invest in cleaner energy sources. And we're doing other things. One in four cars that were bought in the UK last year was an electric car. We're investing in new solutions like hydrogen buses, electrified railways, hydrogen trucks. 
We're finding timeless solutions like reforestation, reducing unsustainable wood burning, and preserving peatlands and wetlands. So parliamentarians, what gets measured gets done. And we have put into law milestones on our journey to net zero, and Parliament plays a key role in measuring that progress, holding the government to account. So there are three crises in this world at the moment, and three solutions. The UK Parliament sends a strong message that shows that the political will is there for those three crises, COVID, climate, and conflict. Let's work together to show a way forward based on peace, based on vaccine sharing, and based on sharing prosperity, but with you using low carbon.